Hello my lovelies, it is Milan Fashion Week and I'm all smiles because our screams. Let's see. Ah, where do I start? It's like, um, what's today? Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Mm like four day fashion week <laughs> it's a four day fashion week and we're starting today with five shows i got fendi alberta ferretti i got diesel show with glenn martins as new creative director i think that's gonna be pretty insane we got andrea andamo and we got cavalli yeah a lot is going on today but this week I think we have 15 shows so think of like pretty much any Italian brand there is I have to say I'm so excited because this week for the first time ever I got an invitation to some of the most incredible shows like drum roll this Milan Fashion Week for the first time ever I will be attending Gucci show and I'm like ah! can we have a moment to scream because I've been screaming the whole week and so you know, all the usual stuff like Prada, Etro, um, I don't know, like I'm going to Gucci, I'm going to Armani, I'm going to Fendi, I'm going to Cavalli. Like, there's gonna be such a cool week. We are finishing Milan Fashion Week with the Ambush show, we have Palm Angels show. <sighs> We have so much amazing stuff that I'll try while I'm like changing in the cars, while I'm trying to do all the stuff as usually that I am filling you in properly. That's my mission number one. I hope you will watch this video till the end and I hope we'll be able to show you all we're doing. So let's get ready because I have a long day. Okay guys, we are heading out. I got dressed for Diesel Show, we have to run because it's really far. But my look is like, I hope you can see it here because the light is a bit difficult. It's very like 90s, we have these, wait I need to close them. So we have these jeans which are also boots, you see it's like all one. And the top which kind of belts, so it looks like it's a body but it's not. I really really love it, I wish you could see it a bit better. I had my hair done, <laughs> professionally of course and that is it ready to roll we need to run literally Okay guys, the show was so late, like ridiculously late, 45 minutes late and far out, so now we're like rushing to make it Fendi and I'm super super excited because here we go, my invite is here, <sighs> very excited, I also will show you my look in a second. I quickly changed in the full Alberta Ferretti look and my bag and we are going to um, take some pictures, film a reel and then we're heading to the show because we have just a little bit of time.
We are currently, um, we finished the reel, we finished the pictures. Uh, we have three more shows of the day, Alberto Ferretti, Andrea Damo, and Cavalli. One of the looks here, as you can see, well, maybe you can't see it, but you saw it when we were shooting it. And we are heading to the show, but actually I'm very happy because we're on time. So I'm basically uh, going to post all the stories from like the Fendi show, from the... I think these all I've already posted, so that's about it. I haven't actually shown you these earrings. I don't know who has watched here the live shopping event that I've done with Fendi in New Bond Street, but these are from the Spring Summer Collection Fendi. I love them. They're very Studio 54, uh, which is basically big part of the inspiration from Kim Jones for Spring Summer Collection. I think I'm gonna keep them on because I really like them. Uh, I've got my full Alberta Ferretti look with the Bottega pouch and that's basically it. We are now heading to the show. Madia, you will add some spice to my videos. Yes, so you're the tallest of them all. I am the tallest. I'm so tall, right? How did we like it? I loved it. You know what I actually like? Tell me. You know, the one girl. Yeah, I've purple. Oh. That would be fun for content, but I'm a good friend. Um, the girl that was wearing, you know, now we have again the uh, English language barrier, but yes. I'm trying to explain. Just try. She had like a, a thing on, on, his, on her hair, so it was like, I don't know, I can you have to Say put it in like, German. I will like, Take a screenshot and then you can... Show more of you. Can you say in German? No, I, I don't even know in German. Uh, how we have uh, basically every language barrier. <laughs> we have a brain barrier. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, that's a problem of an example. That's not a surprise. That's not a surprise. That's not a surprise. Ciao Milano. Ciao Milano. It's such a beautiful weather. We got really lucky, yeah? Aww. I just want to stay forever. Forever? Forever. Well, okay. I am going to see you. Are you leaving me again? Yes. Unfortunately, I have two more shows to go to. Oh, God. I do. Lucky girl. Yes. Well, I'll see you later. Later. Good morning guys, day two of Milan Fashion Week. Yesterday we had five shows and honestly, I don't know how I did it. So I did Diesel, Fendi, Alberta Ferretti, uh, Andrea Damo and Cavalli. It was really amazing. But then afterwards I went for dinner with my boyfriend Xenia Jorgen and I ate the biggest plate of gnocchi. I was starving. The whole day was just a little bit long. If you ask me, it's okay. We're handling. The car was like full, you know, like when just things kind of get on. Milan looks stunning this morning, I have to say that. 
and I'm just happy for day two. Today we have Prada, we have Armani, we have MM6, which is Margiela's diffusion line, and we have GCDS. Between that, I also have a Casa Day presentation and hold on, let's check the calendar. Oh, Jacquemus event. Okay, so kind of a busy day, like six things going on today, one thing at a time though, and I will try and do a little bit better to take you with me. First things first, I need my coffee, I need to go downstairs to finish up some projects, to delegate tasks to the team, and to get going. Okay guys, I am feeling a little bit hot and flustered, we need to lower it a bit. Hold on, I'm feeling a bit hot and flustered because... I got dressed, I did a TikTok, I did a reel, I did another TikTok, and now I'm doing YouTube. And I'm getting shiny. Anyway, I received a really beautiful gift. Wait, let me just spare you my mess. This is the fashion illustration. I was just thinking, what jewelry will I put on? And then I saw on the table that I got a gift from, can you see? Idil. It's one of my favorite brands for jewelry. And I really, really love it, honestly. You guys know that every single day I wear this beautiful chain that's connecting like two piercings. You, the point, there's something going on. The beauty with Edil is that you can kind of like style it how you want, mix and match it, layer it. And I love things like that, even in fashion and clothing and everything, especially so in beautiful diamonds, you know? Who doesn't? Let's check it out. Before I start telling you and showing you, everything will be linked below so that you guys can enjoy it uh, as well as I do. Let's see what's in here because first of all, all of their products come so beautifully packed. I have these pouches that actually are very, very handy when I'm traveling. So we have two products and that's another thing. Ooh, what is this? Ah, so this is kind of how their jewelry works. It's like a little card set that's showing me everything. So we have like Solo, like this one that I'm wearing, the chain is called Apollo. Then what else have I got? I think I have Lucia. I definitely have Lena. I have a Solo diamond. I mean, honestly, they have so many beautiful products and kind of, I don't know if you can tell because the light is quite strong, but you will see what I got in my little boxes. Let's open the first one because I think, <gasps> this is what I'm gonna wear today. I think this is very new. This is insane. Ah, 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 ah. Look at this. So, two piercings. These are diamonds, by the way. Can we just discuss that? Diamonds. Who doesn't love diamonds? We're gonna put that on today for Prada, I'm sure. And then in here, we have Grace. I don't think I... Oh, Panji. So this is like a floating diamond that I can connect with one of those that can go underneath like an earring as like a low hanging bit. And then we have a beautiful diamond necklace. Guys, okay, we need to sort this out now. I need to pause because I need to look at what I'm doing and then I'll be right back. Okay, guys, just change the ear game because that's what you do when you get like some new idyll pieces. I mean, this is just stunning. I am utterly obsessed with this. We'll try and zoom in on this piece so that you can see it a little bit better because it's really, really, really stunning. Like with this tiny little chain and look at these diamonds. I love it. Um, also changed up everything here. So I've got Apollo here. That's like really something I wear nonstop. I never take it off. And then I have a tiny chain that is a new favorite. I'm gonna have to film a TikTok about this because every time I show my ear party on TikTok, you guys go crazy about it. So check it out. Okay guys, we just made it to Prada menu. Look at these chairs. This reminds me so much of like my childhood. I love it. I mean, the setup is pretty insane. I love it.
quick change of the look in the car. I'm going for something casual. I still haven't even received my Armani look, which is in basically two hours. So currently we're going to MM6. I love the brand. I also had a trouble receiving the look on time. So this is it. But sometimes I really like wearing my own clothing because I get a chance to um, to actually wear stuff I love in my wardrobe already, you know? So let's see. I'm just telling Vero that I saw Kim Kardashian at Prada and she doesn't believe me and you know what, not even many people were taking pictures of her. <laughs> yeah, but she was like very recognizable. Hi! Yeah. You look amazing, let's see your makeup. Love it, beautiful as always. And now, now we're stuck in people traffic. guys and welcome to day three of Milan Fashion Week. Yesterday was so crazy I didn't even manage to vlog a lot of it. We went to Prada, MM6, Armani and GCDS shows. I also stopped by Casa Dei presentation. It was truly amazing but today is the first day that I can say I'm just like a tiny little bit nervous and that's very unlike me. I'm never really nervous. I'm nervous because today is the first time I'm ever attending Gucci. Can you believe that? I honestly... I'm, I'm beyond excited. I cannot believe it. So let's just quickly pick this up. Okay. Um, we are going to Gucci today. Before that, I have Etro and I have this like pink look that I think is very, very cute. We will try, aim and shoot everything. I will try to be a little bit better with vlogging, especially because I charged my camera full. Everything should be fine. <sighs> the reason why I'm anxious for Gucci, I have like two looks. I just picked one. I mean, I cannot decide which one's better. They're both insane. The reason why I'm a little bit nervous is because <sighs> Gucci show is like at the airport. It's like really far out of the city. And before that I have a Etro show and it's like they're both very important for me. So I have to make sure that I make everything perfectly on time. So I'm not sure how we're gonna do it, but we've done it before. So I don't see any problems. Obviously I will update you as we guys are going and we're just packing everything. I got dressed up. I'm gonna pack my bag. I've got this like white Etro bag. So it has to like house all I need, did my makeup. I need to pack snacks drinks and all the other essentials because i think i'm coming home at seven to change before we have palm angels show tonight so eventful day my loves okay we made it to the edro menu i'm gonna try and find my seat and my look you've seen sit next to you for a sec. Hi. Can you please greet my um Hi everybody. My people? So I, I every show that I come I feel bad because she's always there. Oh wait, and am I'm, I'm filming? Yes I am. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
yeah. together. Yeah, finally, finally. finally. Let's see who are my sitting partners. Do you like my look? Is that a real question? Ah. <laughs> I'm your real life Barbie. Honestly, it's so warm. It's today. Really it's so warm. Honestly. We have Vale next to me on one side and Caro next to me on the other side. <laughs> um, today is very hot, but my Gucci outfit is a turtleneck, cashmere, yeah, and a suede leather jacket. <laughs> Okay guys, we're on our way to Gucci. I have this hanging here because I don't want to put the pants on because then they will crease by the time we arrive. And it's like, I, I think I mentioned before, the actual uh, show is very close to the Lenate airport. So it's like 30 minutes drive, 25 minutes drive. Well, we're eight minutes away. Still don't want to put the pants on. I'm just like this. Um, the look is very colorful but that's Gucci for you so and that's about it I'm super excited to see what it's gonna be like it's my first ever Gucci show so I think it'll be very cool okay guys I thought you have to see this earpiece I'm wearing every color hi Stella hello hi Veronica Hi, Ciao. Lena. Do you Ciao. Wanna, I have like a dark big YouTube channel, so maybe you can get oh, famous. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for being so yeah. humble. <laughs> No, I love your YouTube channel. Okay, let's I feel like see it's like more and fashion, and you just talk so much about fashion. the prices and the fashion, and you just don't give a fuck, and I like it. No, but you know what? I have the best community. My community is not the biggest, but it's the best. Yeah, right after mine. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure. Okay, guys, I arrived at Gucci venue. I'm literally like one of the first people to arrive. This was very important to me, you know. Um, it's a little bit distorted, so you can't see my look, but it's pretty insane, I promise you. A little update for you all. I'm still in the same look after Gucci because after Gucci went to fitting at Ambush, I didn't really vlog because I was just catching up with their team. I'm gonna be red for a majority of this part of the video because it's the rush hour. What time is it? Oh my god, quarter to six. Bulgari presentation finishes at six. I don't know if we're gonna make it. There was no way to do it before because I had to schedule a slot. This was the only slot, slot I could physically make here. Um, after that, I go home. I have to do something like urgently at seven. I'm having something like some delivery at the hotel that is requiring like security and stuff. So I have to make it there because it's like a logistical planning. Then I have Palm Angels show at eight and then I have Bulgari dinner at nine. Fabulous, right? I think um, I love my job. Uh, it's a beautiful day in Milan, at least. Uh, that's one thing I have to say. I really, really, really love it. Beautiful sky.
Today is going to be, I can finally say, a little bit better day because we have, well, we still have three shows, but I start in the morning so that I am going for my first show of the day, which is Ports at 9.30. Then I have Gilles Sandra at 1, and then I have Ambush at 8 or 7, 7, I think. So it's kind of like spaced out nicely that I'm not like rushing from one place to another. I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm like so difficult. Uh, I'm rushing from one, not rushing from one place to another. I've got, I can't really see because I'm sitting like kind of curved, but I've got like this sports suit with the Gucci top and the Vaseline bag. And we're heading there. Okay, I just made it to the Jimmy Choo presentation and I want to show you what we've got here. This is Jimmy Choo. How stunning is this presentation? Now, look at these shoes. The bracelet shoe. Beautiful. Shall I show you my favorites right away? Okay, on my feet, we have this, which is basically crystallized dream, right? Then we have so many crystals. Very new for Jimmy Choo is the wedge boot. This they never had before. A lot of crystals. Now I have these actually, they're not here with me. I have them in gold, um, beautiful. Then some pearls, which are the core DNA of Jimmy Choo, as you know, as well as the logo actually. Over here, we have the mini, mini, mini bonbon the tassel bonbon super cute then we have something more minimalistic over here beautiful more sparkle over here for sure i will pre-order these because these are dreamy look at the sparkly bands okay jimmy Choo presentation done um no more clothes in the background because that's gone too. Milan Fashion Week's coming to an end, which also makes me a little bit happy because it's been a very tough one, you know? Like, honestly, there's so much bad stuff going on in the world that, you know, this is the kind of stuff that sometimes want, makes me wonder, like, when having kids, what kind of world you put them in, you know? What kind of chances they have in life when this is what's ahead, you know? Anyway, um, I'm very happy Milan Fashion Week is coming to an end. I'm going to Paris tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Still have Ambush show to go to, so that's my look for Ambush show. We also have Gilles Sanders show in one hour. I have um, like a very simple look in pastel tones. You guys know how much I love these show in the pants. I'm gonna wear with an attire trench kind of coat, not really a trench, more like a coat. And we're going to Gilles Sander, then I have to go home. So much repacking to do. And then I have Ambush show at seven. But I'm excited for Ambush because I actually get to go to the show with my boyfriend and I like that. So it's quite nice and comfortable feeling when you get to do something with your loved one. And he is really, besides everything that he is to me, also like my best friend and partner in crime and someone I respect and love very much. So um yeah let's do this i'm wearing a body from a brand called amotea i don't know if you can see the back but it's really beautiful like open back and i'm gonna wear yellow new gia couture heels let me show them to you mm. they're on the floor these are the shoes with my absolute dream fendi graffiti bag so that's it that is it guys i am absolutely utterly exhausted but funnily enough not in need of sleep i woke up this morning at 7 a.m i was ready to start the day i'm just behind with like posting stuff because i'm dealing with a little bit too much what i didn't even want to tell you actually it doesn't even matter my photographer that i've been working with for like pre-covid like three years she's incredible very very talented she shot so many of my projects i'll insert pictures here of works work that she's done so we are we were gonna work together for paris fashion week again 
and I booked her like flights, hotels, everything. Like we were all like networked in. She's in Kiev and I'm kind of worried about her. Like I'm not gonna lie, I'm not even I'm not even messaging her because you know it's it's very sad situation like I'm, i mean i message her on the first day a little bit but i don't want to bother people you know i don't want to harass people when they're having so many of their things going on i don't want to be like i reach out from time to time but i don't want to be like adding more things being like you have to also respond to my message how are you and i also even feel like in these kind of situations how are you is an insensitive question so I'm really like, my heart is broken. Anyway, um, I know that that's not what you guys want to see and hear and that's not why you come here because everybody has problems and um, you come here to relax and watch like fun content. So I will continue with Milan. It's actually a very, very sunny day today. The spring is here and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see. This is one of the reasons why I love Milan so much. Far in the distance, can you see the mountains? And I come from the flattest place on earth, I think. <laughs> Vojvodina, which is my part of Serbia, like where I grew up, doesn't have any mountains. Or one mountain, but I mean, that's like, Fruška Gora is not even a real mountain. So for me to see mountains is always like a miracle. Like it's something that I've, I've never really grew up seeing. And yeah, so we're leaving the hotel. Uh, I have a few things to do. And then I'll update you as we go. Okay, we're arriving to Jules Sander venue. It's very, I'm fitting the tones quite well, I would say. Let's go and find my seat. Wow, the venue is really spectacular. Very, very wide. Let me give you a wide angle so you can see. And look who's just arrived, same time as me. You can't see anything. This is my last show of Milan Fashion Week, Ambush. The location is insane. Okay guys, just a quick update because I haven't actually managed to say goodbye at the end of this vlog. Um, we're now in Paris, but that's what you're gonna see in next sort of vlog after the next because Paris Fashion Week finishes on 8th of March. Milan was extremely busy because to fit in all the fittings, events and 15 shows in four days was a little bit... You know, like, obviously, like, it takes a lot of time, but the problem is, like, when you're constantly changing in the cars and you're constantly running from place to place throughout the traffic from one side of the city to another, you just feel very much like you cannot enjoy the moment. However, I have to say that I enjoy Milan always a little bit more than any other city. I have done a lot. Also, like, it's always very rewarding when there's progress. Like, I had so many more shows than I had last time, and that's something that... I think it's very important for me personally. So yeah, that is basically it when it comes to Milan Fashion Week. In terms of, in terms of fashion, you've seen the collections. I love the Ambush, Fendi, Prada, Gucci. Have you seen the Gucci Adidas collection? I mean, I think that's really, really incredible. Um, I'm gonna leave you here. And now that I've seen kind of like the content that I had in Milan, I think I'm gonna try to do even better in Paris, show you everything. I will have also a little bit more help in Paris, so things should be a little bit better. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for being part of my YouTube family. Like I said throughout this video, my community is the best, and I really mean that. See you soon. Bye, guys.